If you go back um, 20, 20 years ago, uh, prior to the 9-11 wars, mm -hmm. um, the, we, have we have improved light years during this 20 year period. Um, we have uh, much more training and education about mental health and mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot more resources that are being pushed into it in terms of you know, social workers, therapists, psych psychiatrists that have been hired. Um, it's, it's very much the policy of the military is, you know, it's, it's not, it's not weakness, but strength. If you right. go get help, uh, it's okay to not be okay. Um, we have a battle buddy system, which in the civilian world is called a peer support system where, you know, people have uh, like a partner that keeps an eye on them until illnesses. So if they start seeing something going wrong, they can talk to their battle buddy and encourage them to go in and, and seek help. Um, so those, those are all really good things. Um, it used to be back pre 9-11 that s service members were pretty much discharged for almost any kind of mental health condition. Uh, you know, they were discharged medically. That's no longer the case. Right. So the military really bends over backwards to accommodate people. So for example, today, there's thousands of service members that are serving you know, honorably with depression.